Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Salesforce uh, Marketing Cloud Personalization. Today we will see how to build a sitemap uh, within Marketing Cloud Personalization and how to create a web campaign. So I will just try to explain quickly, we have a website that is pretty simple. Uh, what we want to track is when a user visits the page, I want to know information about the user. I want to know that the user tracks, uh, visits the page. And when the user uh, visits a blog post, I also want to get um, a tracking on that. So I want to know when he sees a blog post and uh, I want to see that in Marketing Cloud Personalization. And finally, all of this um, tracking, all of this data that we are collecting about the user behavior will allow us to create a personalized banner, a personalized section on the website to, to, that will be adapted to what the user like. So let's jump into it. So the first thing first, what we need to do is to do a sitemap. So it's a, a sitemap is basically this piece of code that will allow us to track um, the, the different part of our website. So I will go through uh, Marketing Cloud uh, personalization and we will go uh, to explain you. So what we did first is, we did uh, the web SDK. So as you can see, we have a web SDK and a JavaScript integration. So here you have a small piece of code um, that you can copy. And what you can do is you can go into Salesforce story and then click on code snippet. So this is a, um, a plugin that I've installed. And here in Interaction Studio, I've just pasted uh, my code snippet. And just by doing that, I will be able uh, to leverage um, Marketing Cloud personalization. And finally, I've installed um, like a Chrome extension. So it's like Marketing Cloud Personalization SDK or Salesforce SDK. You can find it uh, on the Chrome store. And then when I qu will click Visual Web Editor, I will be able to load Marketing Cloud Personalization within my website. And then what will be interesting is to click on Template, uh, on Sitemap, sorry. So I will click on Sitemap. And as you can see uh, now, here in current page, uh, Marketing Cloud Personalization is able to read that, um, that I have a content zone. So this is my content zone just over here. Uh, also, um, they will see the name of my page. So I've called it view homepage. But for example, if I click on the blog, this will be called view article page. And finally, on this uh, blog page, I will capture the ID, the URL, the name, and the image URL of the blog post. Uh, so all of that, I've defined it. And uh, this is part of my sitemap. My sitemap allows me to do that. Here, as you can see, uh, Marketing Cloud Personalization recognize that I'm viewing an article. And here, they see that I'm viewing the homepage. Okay. And finally, I also have a content zone. So the content zone is where I will create some web banner uh, that are fully personalized for my user, that, that are matching with his behavior, with his demographic um, criteria. And this is my uh, content zone that I've created. So, okay, let's jump into it. Uh, maybe what I can do is I will remove my sitemap and execute it. And I will save and close, and we will build it together. Okay, so as you can see here, now that I've deleted my sitemap, I don't track anything. It's, it's blank, it's empty. I need to track back everything. And we will do it together. So of course, I have the code that I created like earlier. But like the main idea is that we, we, we do it together. So I will code, I will pass like the first part. So this is like to initiate uh, basically like your sitemap and to load the data of the website. So here, what I will do is I will specify the URL of my website, like the domain of my website. So as you can see here, it's Salesforce story. So I will pass that. And this will allow me to, um, to load the data of my sitemap and to analyze what is happening exactly. After that, I will say, once like, the data is ready to be analyzed, I will have a function called ready. And this is where I will track all my events. So there is two main events that are, in that are interesting. I will pass ready and the first event. So the first event is view homepage. So as you can see here, what I say is that I have a page type. So this page type will be view homepage. So when the user lands on the homepage, please trigger an event, a page type event view homepage. Okay? And uh, basically, I say like this is like the format of the URL of the homepage. So that uh, it will like Interaction Studio will also be able to recognize it. And then I tell them, uh, please create a content zone, and you will be able to define this content zone with the ID uh, with a selector. And I put bonjour because uh, like I think it was like there is no, no specific reason, but like I will just show you in uh, WordPress. So I use Elementor Elementor as a landing page builder. But basically here, as you can see in this content section, I have my CSS ID and my CSS class that are on bonjour like for this rectangle. And here, I will specify to Marketing Cloud, OK, create a content zone called Recommended Article Homepage with the uh, ID Bonjour. OK, so they will recognize it. And then what I will do is I will put another tracking event. And this tracking event will see every time I have an article. So I will say, every time you, you visit a URL that looks like this, so it's like a basic URL, but, uh, but so I will just show you. When you visit a URL on, on the website, and this URL is blog post, contain blog post, then what you do is you capture the ID, the URL, the name, and the image URL. So this, we are using the selector method. So for example, for the ID, if I want the title, what I do is I use inspector, and I will come to capture this one. So this is what I, uh, sorry, um, I was stressed because 
I, I couldn't see. Yeah. So basically, what I do is I use the inspector. And here, as you can see, there is a class called WP blog post title. And this is my class of to, to catch like the, the titles, I would say, go to take uh, this class for the title. For the URL, I use uh, this function, com href. Same for the name. And for the image URL, this is a bit more complicated. Uh, I mean, like you have to know. So what you do is uh, you open the inspector as well, and you catch the class. So like the class will be, let's say, I think it was this one. I don't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was this one. And but basically, I need to say, don't catch just the URL as it is. Catch the source CRC. And by doing that, I'm able to correctly capture the image URL. So once I've done that, I can use the last part. So this is like the part that will allow us to tell uh, when when um, the sitemap should capture the data, I, from my understanding. Because if you try to capture too fast the data when you load the website, then you cannot capture the element because the, data, the, the website takes time to load. So you need to have a bit of delay. And this is what this function is doing. OK. So now I can execute my, uh, my uh, sitemap. And as you can see, I'm able to, uh, to track uh, that, for example, I have a content zone. It's here. Uh, also, I'm on the view home page. That is this page. And uh, if I go here, here, as you can see, I'm capturing uh, like the ID, the URL, the name, and the image URL. OK, so this is done. Great. Now, what I can see as well, and this is like the nice part, is if I go into report and event stream, I'm able to see all the events that I created. So for example, here, I can see every second uh, we refresh um, the event stream. And as you can see in the event stream, I can see uh, that the user is viewing the home page. Uh, after, I can see that the user is viewing my campaign. Bonjour. So like it's like the content zone. View home page and view item. It's basically view the article. So I can see that the user is viewing uh, like this specific uh, blog post. And all of that is tracked over here into report and event stream. So I can view all of that. So it's pretty interesting. And then, OK, I can view all of that. So like there is another thing that is interesting is that as I build a sitemap, I'm now able to capture uh, my blog post directly here. So there is a small delay of five, 10 minutes. But as you can see here, uh, I'm capturing all the blog posts that the user visits. And I'm able to fill out some information. I mean, I don't have to fill out the information. It's automated thanks to the sitemap. So like the sitemap do a constant tracking and monitor all the blog posts on my website. And then they will fill out a catalog because my blog post is a catalog object. And all the different articles and blog posts will be autom automatically added uh, in here. So this is really interesting. I think. Um, and one thing that I realized is that you, you will have some issue uh, at first because of this, uh, this parameter. So in, in Marketing Cloud personalization, you have two ways to upload data. You have ETL, which is like a, a stream of data that you are sending. And you have sitemap that is like a constant monitoring of your website through some code that is added uh, on your web page. And you, if you enable strict, strict catalog security, then you will not be able to track the event from your sitemap. So, um, so, so make sure to deactivate it. Okay. So now what we will do is that now that we have a good tracking, we will be able to create um, a web campaign and a web template. So what you have to do is you can close that. And you can go back into Marketing Cloud personalization on your website and load the small octagon. Uh, here, as you can see, you have a uh, new template and view list. So what you will do is you will go in global templates. And we feel in global templates, you can clone uh, Einstein content recommendation. Uh, this is what we will use. And I've already created it here. And basically, like it's super easy. So like the code is already here. So you don't have to change anything. Um, the only thing that you will have to do is to create the a recipe. So, so as you can see, when you will click on blog post and me, my uh, web campaign will appear here. So I will just show you. So sometimes you have to navigate a bit on your website to see it com coming. Uh, but let's let, let's jump into uh, let's jump into uh, the recipe in Marketing Cloud. So as you can see, I have some Einstein recipe. Basically, it's a, it's a set of parameters that will allow me to propose some content that is personalized for my end user based on its behavior and on its demographic. So um, here, I've created one called blog post. And as you can see, I will just show you what I've created. I have a range of options that I can select from. And here, I can select uh, most, recently, most recently published. But I could also select, uh, for example, training based on the number of time that people are spending time on the blog. I could have a training section. But I would just say on most recently published. So once you create a, a recipe, you can save it. You can publish it. And you will simulate it. So like the objective of the simulating a recipe is to see uh, what type of recommendation will be displayed for your user. So as you can see here, it's it's still loading. I think like the reason why it's still loading is that you need to have enough data uh, within your system. So I would just I would just change. So when you don't have enough anything that is appearing, the the reason why is that you don't have enough visitors on your website that are interacting with your content, and you need to uh, you need to make sure 
that people are interacting with your catalog object. So in my case, product, uh, no, in my case, blog post to make sure that uh, you can collect some information. Otherwise it doesn't properly work. Okay, so, it's, so I'm not sure why it's not loading, but that's not important. Let's continue. So as you can see, I'm still into uh, marketing cloud intelligence. And here is my content section. I've, I've selected it here. And now I just have to, um, to, to see why it's not loading yet. Uh, I'm not sure, but like the, like what we will focus on is, okay, I create a content section and here I will have different type of uh, tabs, but basically the main idea to, 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 uh, to keep in mind is that you just have to change the CSS. Once you change the CSS, it should be fine. And then what you will do, so yeah, like as you can see here, I can, I can see my uh, content section. I'm not too sure why it's not loaded on my uh, template, but like the idea is the same. So, so I've created that. Now I will close it and I will create a campaign. So I've created this campaign and here I will select a rule. So as I want a simple rule in our scenario, I will just basically say browser and I will say Chrome. So every people that are using Google Chrome as a web browser will see uh, like the, the template that we created. So if I go as this template basically, yeah. So like the template is now correctly loaded. In A-B test, I will be able to test different experience, but I want to just have this one. I just want to have this banner, so I will keep uh, I will keep the three banner, and here I will select the article like the the content zone. So my content zone that I've established in the sitemap, so this one, the headline. So this could be a recommendation, and the recipe is blog post. So I can also choose to remove like the content name and the content description. I, I didn't fill it out yet. So my campaign is ready. I can save it, and I can publish it. Now I can close my website, and if I scroll my website, I will have like the regular blog post section that is here. And I will also have a content section. Of course, you have to add some CSS and make it look nice. Um, but you will have a marketing cloud personalization content section that obey to specific rule. So for example, uh, it could be uh, some different recipe, trending blog post, or like the top blog post that this category of user likes. So you can go really deep in personalization. Um, like top trending blog post over the last five days by users that are part of the segment B. Like I just give some example, but that's the idea, is that you have some specific content zone on your website that are built and respond to uh, the type of user that you have, like on how they interact with your website and on their behavior, behavior as well. So I think that's an idea that you can see of web template, uh, sitemap, and also uh, marketing, cloud, uh, marketing cloud personalization. I think, uh, I think it's quite interesting to see uh, what you can achieve with this product. Um, and, uh, and hopefully you learn uh, something that is quite uh, interesting. And if you have any question, of course, uh, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.